Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in this video I will be going over the top 10 horror movies that I would love to see make it to 4K. I would say that over the last couple years horror as a genre has really seen a rise of 4K releases. If anybody remembers back when 4K was first introduced, to see a horror film on the format was very rare, just like a comedy on 4K, which that is still something you don't see very often. But nowadays, with all these boutique labels such as Shout Factory, Screen Factory, Second Sight, Severin, Arrow, I mean, many others, they handle some of these horror movies and I think generally do a really great job with what they put out. I did a video covering this very topic a couple years ago and I thought I would update it because when I went back and watched it, a lot of the movies that were in that top 10 list have actually made it to 4K. I mean, recently The Exorcist was on that list and that just came out. So I thought I would update it for 2023 and give you some titles that I feel would really shine on 4K. A lot of these, I suspect it's more of a when than an if. And that just speaks to how I think 4K in general is really catering to this particular genre in recent years. There's so many great titles out there. And of course, I also encourage you to put in the comments section below what most wanted horror movies you would love to see on 4K. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's dive into my first pick. My first pick is definitely one of those movies that's been attributed as a direct influence to the slasher films of the 70s, 80s, and beyond. I'm talking about A Bay of Blood. This movie is absolutely cool. It is really one of those cool slasher horror films. I mean, if you, it's really old school. And if you watch it and then, let's say, watch Friday the 13th or, you know, even, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, anything like that, you definitely see the influences there. And really, the Blu-ray is pretty dated. I think this one deserves a full restoration, a workover. And I could definitely see a boutique label handling this one. I think it would sell a lot of copies. A lot of people would be interested in going back. And I love classic movies on 4K because I think arguably they get the biggest improvements even over movies that were made over the last 20 years or so. So yeah, A Bay of Blood, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend you check it out and hopefully one day it'll show up on 4K. This next one is definitely in a when as opposed to an if and I could certainly see Shout Factory, Screen Factory handling this one. Plus, with the recent talk of a potential sequel on the rise, Trick or Treat is, is one that is absolutely ripe for a 4K release. I like a good anthology, and of course you have that central figure of Sam uh, really kind of weaving all those tales together, but I think a 4K upgrade would look really good. And it's also one of my, I like a good anthology, and horror anthologies are some of my favorites, but Trick or Treat... It's cool, it's creepy. They've even made uh, Halloween houses and scare zones over in Universal in Florida. I mean, it's it's a good pop culture type of horror movie. It's, I would say it borders on a little bit of mainstream, but it still kind of clings on to cult status. But a 4K release would be top notch. I, I'm definitely in the, I think this is gonna happen probably sooner rather than later, but yeah, trick or treat on 4K, let's make this happen. There's something about a good horror film that interjects another holiday. For this instance, Christmas, and I'm talking about Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is one of those movies that is one of the rare horror films or slasher movies that I could actually get my wife to watch. She enjoys this one quite a bit. We watch it at least once a year. Um, but this is also another title I can definitely see, Shout Factory, Screen Factory release. They did a Blu-ray not too long ago. But I, once again, I love a good holiday-themed horror film, and slasher genre is still one of my favorites, but, you know, this movie's cheesy, but it's still creepy, and I I still remember way back when, when I was really young, the big standee at the video store for this, you know, the, the Santa arm, like, basically the poster here, uh, it was a full-life standee, but I would love to see this kind of come full circle, get a full 4K release. I'm very excited, and I'm pretty optimistic we'll see this one very soon. When you think of director Sam Raimi, you fall into one of two camps most times. You either think of the Evil Dead films, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, or Spider-Man, you know, and both are, you know, good ways to associate the director. But for me personally, I find he does his best work when he's in the horror genre, and when he went back to it with Drag Me to Hell, he didn't miss a beat. This one is creepy, it's visually kind of, kind of has got that, all those scary elements to it. 
but a 4K upgrade would really help this one out. And also, I think, why not throw in a Dolby Atmos upgrade? I know I'm probably asking too much for it, but this movie is, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. It is, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything about it, but just check out the poster art right there and decide if that's something you want to, you want to see. But come to 4K, I would definitely pick this one up. And I think a lot of people would agree. Over the last couple of years, we've gotten some good classic movies on 4K, and I think they've delivered really good visual upgrades. Recently, Rosemary's Baby, The Changeling came out on 4K from both Severn and Second Sight. If you can get the Second Sight version, it's a lot better. Um, but, you know, classic films, I think, really benefit from the 4K bump. And one of my personal favorites, The Haunting, I'm talking about the original one. This one is a good ghost story. It's really classic it's, it's classic 60s horror, you know, that's the best way I can describe it. And a 4K bump would really do this, this film a lot of favors because I think, I know, I think a lot of people would agree that a black and white film does look significantly better, especially when you get a proper application of HDR on it and you, you give a full restoration, it's going to look top notch. But yes, The Haunting, it's a, it's a great classic horror film has an outstanding cast to it. And I think hopefully this is kind of like a long, you know, like a long shot kind of a request, but I would definitely pick this one up day one. Once upon a time, director Guillermo del Toro had, I would say a potential Haunted Mansion movie from Disney in the works. And well, unfortunately it's one of those missed opportunities that, you know, I can see why that didn't happen. Um, and of course, now we have the magnificent opus that is Haunted Mansion 2023. Go check it out. But he decided to take a lot of those ideas and form them into his own film called Crimson Peak. This movie, in my opinion, is one of the most criminally underrated ghost stories out there of the last 20 years. I love this one. It's got a decent Blu-ray. I'm not going to knock the Blu-ray. And even, I believe, Aero Video did a special edition Blu-ray of this. But imagine a 4K upgrade. I would be completely blown away on what they could potentially do. I love this one. And if this video does anything but get people to go watch it, you know, just based off of like what I'm talking about, do so, please. Crimson Peak is a great Haunted Mansion. That is not Haunted Mansion ghost story. It's got Tom Hiddleston uh, from Loki and uh, Marvel. He does a really good job in it. But yeah, I would love a 4K and I'm, we'll see. I, I'd love to see somebody surprise me with this one as a 4K upgrade, but hopefully I am not alone in feeling that Crimson Peak deserves a 4K release. There are a lot of people out there that do enjoy the Conjuring movies. I'm one of them, I'll admit it. It's not, it's not highbrow horror or anything like that. It's, I've always likened these movies to kind of like a funhouse effect. You go in there, you get some scares, you have a good time and then you leave. Um, but this has got an interesting history. So we have the original Conjuring, which is 4K on digital, okay. But for some reason, Conjuring 2 doesn't have a 4K release anywhere. There's no digital, there's certainly no disc. So I would love to see both the Conjuring and the Conjuring 2 get 4K releases physically would be just really, I think a lot of people would like that. I mean, we do have, of course, a lot of the other Conjuring movies on the formats. And I do enjoy The Conjuring, the first two movies, really, uh, I think they have some good scary moments, and they're entertaining. So, you know, Conjuring, Conjuring 2, let's see them on 4K. Warner Brothers has been a little bit weird with their releases lately, so we'll see what happens. But I would love to see these two get the 4K treatment. This next entry was on my first Most Wanted Horror 4K video, and I thought I would just port it over to 2023's, uh, I'm talking about David Cronenberg's The Fly. I will say recently, we've been getting a little bit more Cronenberg on 4K. We had Videodrome just come out from Criterion not too long ago. So let's see this one get the 4K treatment because I know a lot of people, personally at least, would absolutely upgrade this one day one. It's a very creepy movie. It's also one of those films that I think a lot of people knew Jeff Goldblum from before Jurassic Park, you know, and all that. But yes, the fly on 4K, it's visually very creepy. And I think with the proper restoration and some HDR application would look fantastic. Uh, once again, I wouldn't say no to an audio upgrade either, but yeah, the fly on 4K, I know a lot of people want this one to happen. 
when it comes to horror icons, you have, of course, Michael Myers, who's been, who's, the, the entire series of his films are now on 4K. Hey, even Paramount dipped their toes into Friday the 13th with the first movie making it to the format. But where is Freddy? Where are any of the Freddy movies? Nightmare on Elm Street. We're begging for 4K releases. Yes, I would say more so the first, at least one in three for me personally, A New Nightmare uh, has its moments. But let's go ahead, complete the whole set, put them all out on 4K. But yeah, it's just very odd that here we are in 2023 and there's been no Freddy on 4K yet. This one, I think, is a, is a matter of rights issues that are kind of maybe holding this one down. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe uh, Shout Factory, Screen Factory will get their hands on this. But, uh, yeah, the Nightmare on Elm Street films, let's see these hopefully one day. And finally, when it comes to horror sequels, I know they can be very hit or miss. And that can be with any genre. But occasionally, there's one out there that does stand out. And this is a, one of those titles that I firmly believe is a when rather than an if. Poltergeist 2. Okay, let's talk about this one for a second. Creepy. I mean, the first one is legendary to me of a good, you know, haunting, you know, ghost story. It's legendary. But there's just something about the sequel. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the creepy preacher <laughs> that deserves like a, a revisit. Poltergeist 2 was given a Blu-ray release from Shout Factory. I think that shout will be definitely giving us a 4K probably in the near future. But yeah, Poltergeist 2 is one of those movies that you go back to and just, wow, that guy is just completely awful. Um, and then we shout, they might even do Poltergeist 3, which uh, not a big fan on that one. But Poltergeist 2, it's, it's of course, it's not going to live up to the original, but it definitely deserves a release on 4K. So come on, shout, scream, let's make this one happen. When I was putting this video together, I had a whole list of Criterion releases that I would love to see get a 4K treatment that were all horror themed or very close to it. And honestly, I had about three or four on, on this particular list, but I thought I would do a full video, head on over to my Patreon. If you're not subscribed to that, I put, I'm gonna post it right over there of a full list of Criterion horror movies that I would love to see make it to 4K. So hopefully we'll see you over there. Now it's your turn in the comment section below to let me know what titles you would love to see horror-wise get the 4K bump. Let's talk about it and also let me know what you thought of the titles I talked about in this video. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.